a moment from Italy. We're back live via the satellite, Remini, Italy. Uh, Alfredo Escalera in the white to the left side of the ring on your screen. And the defending champion, Alexis Arguello. And we will quickly, look, there's Arguello. We will quickly show you the tail of the tape. And as you look at it, I will run down the rules, the nuts and bolts covering the fight. Rounds will be scored on the 10-point must system. No, <coughs> excuse me, no knockdown limit per round. Two judges and one referee each get a vote in the scoring. Mandatory eight counts, no saving by the bell. As you look at Arguello, the thing to remember about him is that he's a terrific puncher for the weight. His blows have a cutting effect. Once Arthur Mercani, who refereed his prior fight against Escalera, said there are razor blades in the glove. Escalera made the mistake of trying to punch with him the last time around, promises to box him this time, and that the result will be different. As the fight begins, we shall see. Referee is Angelo Paletti, a veteran Italian boxing official. The two judges, both Italians, Marcello Bertini and Leto Bellagama. Arguello, as you see, despite his power, is a hittable fighter. He fights from a straight up stance and does not have a lot of foot movement. Escalera, on the other hand, has lots of movement and is very quick-handed. Arguello had a problem making the weight but wound up down as low as 129. This may be, and probably will be, his last fight as a super featherweight. Escalero has no such weight problem. Escalera. Guayo beginning to score. Why is the Bison Remini with a Nicaraguan and a Puerto Rican? Good question. Promotional wars needing a place at the last minute, tax purposes. And Alfio Righetti, the Italian heavyweight, lives here and is on the undercard. So the place is packed. First round action. Escalera being cautious thus far. Remembering what happened the last time around. And Aguayo doing the better scoring with that stiff straight left. The jab has a lot of strength in it, and the hook has tremendous power. Caution to Escalera from Paletti, the referee, about the use of the head. The butt. See how quickly Aguayo's lift gets in there. the countdown from the end of the round in the lower right hand corner of your screen and we have the end of the round approaching now you're looking at, at, at Escalera as he goes to his corner the man in his corner his trainer Enrique Carrillo the cut man Dr. Amori Capellan, and his other man in his corner is Paul Ruiz, his manager. There is Arguello in his corner, Arturo Hernandez. The noise behind me relates to the round girl who is carrying the round card about the ring. There you see it. Arturo Hernandez, Don Gunn, Miguel Rivas are the people in Arguello's corner. Al Silvani used to be Aguayo's trainer is not here. Apparently is the trainer no longer.
amazing confidence in Escalera for a man whose face was cut to ribbons the last time out against Batman. The bell for round two. Escalera the Snake Man is Pet Python, six feet. Ali is his name, and not here. Back home in Puerto Rico. They wouldn't let him take the snake abroad. Now you see Escalera going to work. In their first fight, early on, Escalera stung Aguayo with a left hook to the liver. The most punishing kind of punch, and that let him and to what he claims was overconfidence and to the second round knockdown by Aguayo, who then assumed command of the first fight. Still, Escalera lost on October 27th to Julio Valdez, an unexpected defeat. I repeat for emphasis, the ring is only 16 feet. So there is no place to run or to hide. to the left of your screen. Aguayo is back to you. Aguayo seemed to land the more numerous and crisper punches in the first round. This round has been a little different. Galera's left working on Aguayo. Forty seconds left in the round. Coming now to the end of round two. We're back live, Remini, Italy, in the western shore of the Adriatic, round three. Aguayo in the red trunks, if you've got a color set to the right of your screen. Escalera in the blue trunks to the left. The first round, I thought, cleanly won by Aguayo. The second round. Aguayo landed late in the round, the crisp of punches, but on balance, I thought the round was even as Calera dominated in the early moments of the round. This is round three. Again, the official, a veteran Italian, Angelo Poletti, the referee. Scoring on the 10-point must To give you some idea of the punching power of Aguayo, his 160, his lost four, he is looking for his 50th knockout. He has won 49 bouts by knockout. The only men in the lower weight classifications who can punch like Aguayo are Carlos Zarate, Fredo Gomez, and of course, the omnipresent Roberto Duran.
looking for an opening. He would like to do what he did in the last fight. Connect early, floor the opponent, and then dominate and put the opponent away. The whole battle plan of Escalera is to thwart that. Buck much more casually than he did the last time out. Not to leave himself open. So in this, the third round, you are seeing a wary Escalera. remember a flow of blood from under the eye will not stop a fight over the eye the blood goes into the eye and blurs vision and can often cause a fight to be stopped the present cut is not the case still it shows you the cutting effect of Octuayo's punches as I suggested earlier on in the television Not only that, you can look for a lot more blood in this one. The fighters are, of course, wearing eight-pound gloves. But as you see them exchanging blows here, and Aguayo senses that he is beginning to get the man. Now, it's Galera fighting back. But Aguayo, sure in his bunch, right there. A good left by Escalera. There is absolutely no fear in Escalera. He himself. A champion who defended successfully eight times. An apology for a butt. There you see the blood under the right eye. These gloves are manufactured in Mexico. They are Casanova gloves. See the white seams on the side of them? They add to the cutting potential of the glove. Right there, the left, as in the first fight. The quick, straight left cut in there. So we have the first knockdown in the fight. You can see that Escalera sent he was in command as the two resumed fight. You couldn't ask for a cleaner left. And Escalera is trying to cover up, trying to be careful. And now the blood flows again from under the eye. The cut reopens. The nose is red. It's hard to tell blood is coming from the right there, a left and a right and a left in order. And Arguello is getting through. He wants to make short trip now of Escalera, if he can. This is a tremendous puncher. Alexis Arguello seeking his 50th knockout. One knockdown in the fight. Is this the fourth round? A left did it. Escalera wanting to stay away, wanting to be wary, to fight cautiously, the whole battle plan. But how do you win when you're fighting defensively? That was his problem going in. We will stay with the fighters between rounds as we approach the end of round four, the first truly decisive action in the fight. We will go now to Alfredo Escalera's corner. Immediately, they go to work on the eye. A knockdown in that round, a left did it. Now, we will be showing you that knockdown in replay in just a few seconds. But right now, the problem to close up that cut again and to avoid, from Escalera's point of view, future cuts. Let's look at that blow in replay now watch for that left there it was quickly half hook half straight bang it went in down went escalera thing to watch for now that misses hi that's mrs aguayo her name is loretta her first name she travels with alexis for every fight 
Now you're looking at Aguayo. The bell sounds for the start of round five. Angelo Paletti wants to wipe off the fighter's face. Aguayo's face is wiped off by the referee, and now the battle resumes. And indeed, they have not been able to stem the flow of blood. As the round begins, the blood is coming down from the cut underneath Escalera's left eye. Remember, this is fifth round action. And the fourth right there again. And Arguello now is taking tremendous charge of this fight. The second knockdown. Again, it was the left that did it. Arguello stands in the neutral corner, just looking on. Escalera is the same age as Arguello, only 26. But off the Valdez lot, some feel that he is slipping. And now, indeed, he is in desperate trouble and ready to go. Staggering about the ring, desperately hurt. The legs wavering and rubbing. Now the right from Arguello sends him back against the ropes into the corner. Arguello is measuring him, teeing him, teeing off on him. Again, the Escalera face, full of blood, flowing profusely from that cut. And blood now from the nose, the left and the right. And now, Paletti, the referee, giving him what amounts to a standing eight count. Here in Italy, there is no there is no rule provision for a standing eight count, such as they have in the amateurs, but the referee has the discretion to call it. So we have had two knockdowns to the canvas and a standing eight count. One of the knockdowns to the canvas and the standing eight count have both occurred in this, the fifth round. Escalera stays alive on nerve alone. Arguello fighting back to his form of a year ago. Some felt he had been a weakening fighter. Off and over the weight loss to Villamar Fernandez. Fernandez last summer in New York. Look at Arguello teeing off. Arguello looks the best we have seen him since his last fight against Escalera. is fifth round action. As you follow the clock in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, you can see that Arguello is looking to finish Escalera. Escalera hanging on. Now the crowd responding to Escalera's courage, and now Escalera comes back with a couple of left, and he's coming on now, and listen to the crowd. They're cheering for Alfredo Escalera for his courage and for his resiliency as we approach the end of the fifth round in another fine fight. That's the end of the round. Look at the face of Escalera. Cut to ribbon, but fighting back in the last 35 to 50 seconds of the round. And as you look at Alfredo in his corner, quickly, they're going to work. And Arguello relatively untouched, a slight redness on the upper right side of the forehead, but that's all. Now, let's take a look at the knockdown. That left did it right there to the left side of Escalera's face, a downward Escalera. Now, let's see. Let's see if in a few seconds we can get you the blows that caused the standing eight count. Remember, two knockdowns in the five rounds to the canvas, one standing eight count. Aguayo in command. All right, now here is the second. At left. Oh, that was a repeat of the knockdown to the canvas, our apology. There was a mix-up in the truck. We showed you first the first knockdown to the canvas in the fight, which we had repeated for you previously, and that was second knockdown to the campus in the fight. We did not show you the flurry of blows that led to the standing eight count. Now we're in round six. This crowd got truly excited as Escalera proved A, his courage, B, his comeback capacity in the final 50 seconds of the fifth round. There is no quit in Alfredo who, by the way, is being watched in this fight by his wife, Liliana, and indeed by Alfredo III, their little baby son. Escalera, not fighting 
cautiously anymore, throwing caution to the wind, knowing his only hope lies in a comeback and doing damage to Arguello of the nature that Arguello has inflicted upon him. Action in round six. Escalera on the inside, trying to stay away from that long flex of Arguello. There is Liliana, there is the baby, notably unaffected by the fall of events. The anguish etched in Liliana's face as she sees the blood flowing from her husband's eye. Now there is blood on her quail, but it's difficult to determine whether it's his or Escalera as we come down within the final minute of round six. Blood now from that left eye of Arguello, as well as the right. It is pouring out from him. Arguello remains composed. Now the cut to be, the cut to be attended to as referee Angelo Paletti halts the action for a moment. The blood wipes away from the corner of the left eye, still coming down from under the right eye. Now Aguayo showing a little more movement on the toe, using what little there is of the ring. But this crowd now is definitely partisan to Escalera. It is difficult to determine whether or not the blood on Aguayo's face is from a cut or is Escalera's blood. We are approaching the end of the round. We're back for round seven. And the blood flows from Escalera and Arguello has not been cut. It was Escalera's blood that was over Arguello. Now Arguello, who seemed to have lost some of his drive in the fifth round after the Knocked down in the fourth, in, in the sixth round, rather, after the knockdown in the fifth and the standing eight count. Arguello is looking now to really put the opponent away. See? That right connected with Arguello, but it did not have Sting behind it. Going to stay. We're going to show you those blows by Alfredo Esco. 
Solera. And now Arguello is cut. You saw. You saw Escalera patting Arguello. And Arguello is cut over the right eye. The right corner of the right eye and on the brow. So, we've got a different looking fight at the moment. Now, let's look at Escalera's flurry in slow motion. There's the left. And another left. And that's when the eye got cut. Remember, I told you about the seams on the glove, the side of the glove. Now they're still working over both of Escalera's eyes. The kind of gloves they're using, Mexican manufacturing, have a great deal to do with the cut and the blood that you're seeing. It has become, quite frankly, a vicious, a brutal fight, but exciting for lovers to fight. Round eight coming up. Now one fighter has both eyes cut. That's Escalera. Aguayo has one eye cut. Aguayo's wife could not stand the sight of it anymore. She was sitting right behind him. She is left ringside. Aguayo now faces the task, from his point of view, of getting back in control. But Escalera is unafraid. He took savage punishment earlier on and is now coming back. He did the same thing in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, a year and a week ago, until finally the fight had to be stopped. Now let's take a look quickly at Escalera's wife. There she is, obviously worried. It's not a pretty sight to see. One husband in there, bleeding. A boxing, a brutal sport. No question about it. But look at Escalera, taking the offensive lead, throwing the greater number of punches, and beginning to have effect with it. Evidence, the seventh round, and the cut of Arguello's right arm. He pours, uh, he pours at his right eye as the blood comes out of Arguello, that is. Quick, sharp left got hit by Arguello, but Escalera keeps coming. Appears supremely confident, despite the punishment he has absorbed. about 45 seconds left in the round. Clearly, Aguayo's pace has been slowed by the efforts of Escalera. Remember, this is for the WBC World Super Featherweight title. It is a rematch. Aguayo won the title from Escalera a year and a week ago in Bayamon. Aguayo got off to a big early lead in this fight. There have been two knockdowns and a standing eight count by Aguayo. No knockdowns by Escalera. The end of the round. We're back live at ringside the Sports Palace, Rimini, Italy, for what has become a tremendous fight. Vicious, yes. Bloody, yes. But two warriors. That's what they are. Each courageous. Aguayo at the moment appearing more the more tired of the two. But it was Escalera who looked like he would be put away as early as the fourth or fifth round. He survived. He has come back. Both eyes cut. Both of Escalera's eyes. The coagulant now appears to be taking hold. And the blood is not pouring forth. So at the moment, the cut over Aguayo's right eye is the more serious cut. Such the flow of the tide in this battle. At this point in the fight, stamina becomes all important 
one has to wonder how much was taken out of Arguello by getting down to the weight, and indeed a pound under it. Now the blood opens again over Escalera's left eye, or out of the corner of it. You can see that blood for yourself. And Arguello is pecking away at it. Arguello trying to reassume the total command he had in the earlier round. So far in the ninth round, this round, he is doing much better than he did in the prior two, which I gave to Escalera. By the way, I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we'll take a station break. Unless the action is such that it would militate against our leaving the scene, even briefly. Remember, scoring is on the 10-point must system. Can't call this a boxing contest because they have so little room to move in. 16-foot ring. So it's a hitting set. Good left by Arquay. Arquay on much grip in this, the ninth round. Much grip. With 30 seconds left to go in the round. Counting down, as you can see. Both fighters showing some signs of fatigue now. Okay. And Solara swinging Arguello around, but Arguello getting the caution. Coming to the end of the round, we'll be back with more luck after this word from our local station. Satellite, the tenth round, just getting underway of a vicious fight for the world. Boxing Council, Super Featherweight Tight, Alexis Arguello, and Alfredo Escalera. Escalera to the left of your screen, Arguello now with his back to you. There have been three eight counts in the fight, all scored by Arguello. Two hitting the opponent to the canvas, the third a standing eight count. Fight is cut, cut badly. As Calera, both eyes, Aguayo, the right eye. Aguayo's left eye is half shut. Or rather, right eye, Aguayo, as Calera's left eye is half shut. As Calera working on Aguayo, back to the rope. by Aguayo. The Aguayo scoring effectively there. With the left in the main, but with the right two in combination. Well, started reassuming control in the ninth round here in the tenth. He has the grip, sharper, punch. We're within the final minute of the tenth round. Quick reminder coming up next, ABC's Wide World of Sports. You'll see the National Figure Skating Championship in Cincinnati, Ohio. You'll see ice dancing. And you'll see the World Rest Wrist Wrestling Championships from Petaluma, California. And a report on the Grand Prix of Brazil. Wide World of Sports coming up next. Meanwhile, this is 10th round action. Guayo leading from the right eye. And Escalera from the left. A lot of blood from the corner of Aguayo's right brow. Coming up, the end of the round. This is Aguayo, the 
featherweight champ defending against that man, Alfredo Escalera. And now, Cuello comes out in a hurry. He reassumes control of the fight in the ninth and tenth rounds, at least in my view. And now he comes out in a hurry with a renewed victory. back beautifully after being on the verge of a knockout and won the seventh and eighth round. By my scoring, Aguayo is well ahead again after the last two rounds. Well, that's an individual and subjective view of this fight as I am watching. Scoring a fight, as boxing fans know, is one of the most subjective businesses in sport. This is the 11th round. Angelo Belletti is the referee, the third man in the ring. Scoring is on a 10-point must system. against Cuba, live 
from Havana via the satellite. The Cuban fighters at this point in time, prior to the Moscow Olympics, probably the best amateur team in the world. But the American team, coming off that surprising defeat of the Soviets a week ago in Las Vegas. The American kids getting the same kind of brilliant coaching that produced, produced the miracle at Montreal. We're counting down to the end of round 12. Both fighters being human, not capable of fighting at a torrid pace every minute of every round. But torrid is a fair adjective for this fight. We'll be back. Alexis Aguayo, Alfredo Escalera. The two fighters, bloodied but unbound. Aguayo with a quicker start in this, the 13th round. Quickly reopens the blood from Escalera's left eye cut. Escalera with a couple of left. Leaving the opening 